Are you done? Hey everybody, so hmm, this is a this is a stack of planners from pocket to A6 to B6, another pocket and A5 wide. That's technically an A5 size to an A4. Um oops. All the planners. So let's talk about where I'm at this year, where I started, where I've come from, what I've kind of done. I, I don't even know where to begin other than to just dismantle the pile. So at the very beginning of the year, oh, little Percy's still hanging out. That was from Avocado Day. Um, I think that's pretty accurate. So at the beginning of the year, my pile looked like that. Oh, wait. Does this little guy belong here? When did I start him? Yes, I set this up for January. So, yes, he belongs here. Um, I kind of started in a very bullet journal way. I was finishing this up. I had it set up with a winter theme. You can see this. I actually think my, it's my black one. And then I moved it all into here. Um, I had it set up. I used it. I don't remember when when I stopped using this. But I was using it in January. You can see I was using it. So, okay. I started with this. And then I I set up my pocket because I was super excited to try this. And you guys have seen videos. It's it's adorable. Um, let me get my elephant view. Um, and I love this. I love this notebook. But I realized, like, I really love a traveler's notebook. So I'm always torn between these. Okay. Last year I was using this. This I'm still using. Um, I currently just did a little uh, website thing in here that I'm working on. I'm kind of using it project-based right now. It sits on my desk. So this is still being used to some degree, which is kind of cool. I'm almost done. I can't wait to film a flip through. I think it'll be interesting because it's not your typical bullet journal. And I think it'll be a really cool flip through. I think I'll enjoy flipping through it. I don't know if you guys will enjoy watching it. This bad boy is my business bullet journal, bullet business planner. Um, I bought this before they came out with the bullet planner. Um, and I know that there's people that love this size, but I also have, a, I just know that it didn't sell as well to, to keep doing it for them because it's huge. It's, it's freaking huge. Um, I don't, I can, I'll show you guys this. So I set it up for January, scheduling and stuff like that. I was using it. Um, I'm still kind of using it. I have through December of 2019 in here. I, I don't know, guys. I don't know. I'm tracking. I don't know if you can see this whole thing or not. I'm, I'm using it. The problem I find is... And I'll show you guys. I'm trying to find a good page to like just, I didn't edit this at all. So I keep track of my waste stuff. But like I find that this is, it's big. It's not always easy to write on. Sometimes it's great because it's big. But most of the time it's not great because it's so big. It is kind of cool. Just today I was like, I need the, I need the color codes for my, for my business. I was fixing the website and some stuff and I put this back here and I knew where to find it. That was nice, but it's big and I don't take it with me and it sits on my desk and that's all fine, but I actually took it somewhere and look what happened. I, I don't know. I have to figure this out. I need to use it up. I need to, so I can put it on a shelf and it can be a done book, but I'm, I'm using it, but not as much as I hoped. That's, that's my thing for that one. Um, that kind of transitioned into a, hey, look at this pretty, this arc. Let's try an arc brown planner because that's a brilliant idea. And I just flipped to a calendar. So I did my calendar this size and I was like, oh, I really like this. And I do really like the calendar set, set up for this. I need to adjust the margins a little. But I like 
I like the business side of things. I think I like have being able to pull out a page and not necessarily a calendar page, but replace it, move it to uh, when things are done, move it to the done task. Things need to get done. This, however, I, I don't know. It might come into play next year. I need to sit down over the next few months and kind of figure out how to really, oh, sorry about my, my, about, about my stand, really streamline the business end of things. So right now I'm kind of figuring it out. But again, I'm not really using this. I'll take notes in it, but I am still using this. So there's, there's that. And I'll do a, a better flip through of this when I can cover some stuff up in a, in a separate video. So those are those. Now on to my personal mess. And I mentioned the bullet, I mentioned my bullet journal and then I transitioned into my little bullet journal, which guys, I transitioned from this. I went to this. I loved this. This, I stopped using this in May. Um, I was going to do with daily stuff, my dailies in here and it just, it, I started to, but by the third, I, I fell apart. And I moved into my A6 Traveler's Notebook. So from a B6 to an A6, this was originally supposed to be an A6 and they sized it wrong. And they're supposed to be, Scribbles is supposed to be coming out with an A6 and I'm pretty much waiting for it. Because I'll have it in some form, I'll figure out a use for it because I love this freaking notebook. I do, I can't help myself. Um, but I knew that carrying this around every day kind of got cumbersome. I don't know. I just felt it did. I know it's the popular size. I was in it for almost a year. Like almost all of last year. I think from February through to the end of December. And part of January I was still in this. So I, B6 and me, are we're, we're friends. A6 is awesome because I, it's a wallet, man. I can put it in my hand and I can go. Um, it fits in a lot of my bags. It's, I, I, this notebook is a prototype and it's been totally beat up. Um, I love it. I love pretty much everything about it. The way it's set up, the calendars, my sticker pockets, my, my note pages. Like I just love it. And then somewhere along the line, I got bit by the ring bug and I bought this and I let it sit for, oh gosh, it sat for a month or two. And then I set it up and honestly guys, I've been taking this every day and I really like it. I like, I like a lot of things about it. I kind of wish it was an A6, but then I kind of like it the pocket size. So I'm really torn with these sizes. I have another scribbles. I'm kind of all over the place right now with this. Let me bring in this one and then I'll show you. Yeah. Sorry guys. I filmed this video kind of on the whim and, and it shows. This is um, a pocket size. You can see the difference between a pocket size. Actually, I don't know if anybody's done this. A pocket size TN and a pocket size ring. Um, the pocket size ring is smaller. And I think that's what makes me kind of go, maybe I need an A6 ring. This sits in my desk. It sits in my desk drawer. Um, this is my desk. So it sits in my desk drawer. And it's got shop stuff in it. It's got some inserts. I have no idea what they are in it. But it's got shop stuff in it. This is like how I run my shop. Which is kind of funny considering you just saw like my, my shop planners. But this is my shop notebook. Like if I need to look up a size of something or this or that. I, I open the drawer and reference this. I don't think it's going anywhere. I think I just need to refine it and make it very useful. But I think I need a bigger planner for big shop stuff, like my shop calendar and that. So anyway, I'll move that off to the side for the moment. So this became a notebook that sat on my desk. My friend Pam mentioned to me, I think I sent her a picture of something and she saw the background of my desk and it was like covered in sticky notes. And she's like, you have journals everywhere. Why are you sticky notes? And then I was like, I should just have, oh, that's funny. I should just have, I made, a, I made stencils, so you, they're everywhere. Um, I should just have a desk journal, one that sits, one that basically is a sticky notes. I can put sticky notes in here, but so that's kind of what this has become. And I have one ready to replace it. So I'm kind of kicking that off this right now. I'm not 
currently planning in. I save it because it has my two-year calendar and it's still set up and it has notes. And I will take it somewhere when I take this if I know that I might need to reference something that's in here. It's, it's kind of where it's at. This guy has been sitting on a shelf waiting for me to say, I found a use for you. <laughs> and I haven't. I want to. I don't know what I'm going to do. But I need to find a use for him because I kind of really like him. This one is, is on a shelf. I will put it right back on the shelf. So I'm going to drop this one over here. So I've ditched the B6. I know, that's kind of shocking. I'm living in this smaller size. However, when I was doing all this, and I kind of, I'm going to put him off to the side, and I kind of said no more of him. And I was doing these two, and then I kind of pushed this one away a little bit, but I won't ever get rid of a TN. I love a traveler's notebook. It's what really helped me find some type of planner piece. I don't think I'll ever have true planner piece. I think I just like to change things up too much. That's cool. But I added this. When this kind of went away, I added this one. So now I'm kind of in these. This is, and I know you've seen this, this is just a journal for me. And I like, it's a wide size. It will hold, it might, actually I think I wrapped this around. It's really close to A5. But because it'll hold more wides than I have in here. Um, I used this as a planner two years ago. I think this was my planner two years ago. So I pulled it out, put some art books in it. And it's been a really good source of um, therapy. It's been a, um, it has. It's just been, it's been a way for a creative outlet. Uh, just a way for me to kind of sit down and do nothing and do something. I know that didn't really make a lot of sense, but it makes sense to my brain. Um, and this little guy is what I'm using. Now, I've since added another notebook and that is an A6. Okay, I can't say it. I never say it right. It is a Tekukor. I think I might've said that right. Tekukor. I'll link it down below. It also comes in A5 and I have an A5. Um, it has three of these. I don't know if I ever did any little like review on this. I should. I am currently, here's the pen test page. It's pretty nice paper and it's cheap. I, two of these is 12 bucks. I am currently using this. Um, I'll show you that page and I made index pages cause it didn't have any. And then I did, um, a future planning calendar at the beginning. And then I basically have started. It's kind of new. Um, I was using an arc planner for this job and uh, it wasn't working. I don't, I didn't like it. For everyday plan, it's not me. I think I could use it for my business setup if I can get it streamlined, but I, I didn't like it. I need, a, I need a bullet journal style for this. So currently, my current setup of notebooks, this is where, oh, I missed one. Oh, stop. I missed one and I just had it out today. So I actually using it for the first time in months forgot this guy so this was my budget book at the beginning of the year so he kind of fell in with the stack of scribbles that was hanging out and um, I actually just pulled him out today and I'm not going to show you the page I'm not going to show you the page but I basically scribbled out the top part of March and I started planning out some bills that I have to pay like this coming week just to just to try and use it and get a get a refresher on my bills but there's a video on that about how I failed at budget planning we'll come we'll come back to that um so my current setup is is right now it's this these guys but like the one I take with me is this this sits on the desk this stays on this desk or near this desk this goes with me this occasionally goes with me that's it that is literally it you guys, I think I'm in planner chaos right now. I don't know what else to call it. Part of it's good because if you've seen a Tyrion Tuesday, you've seen inserts for this. Um, I'm branching out into ring inserts. So it's growing my business. So that's always a good thing. But honestly, I don't know. I don't know where I'm going. I'm really hoping that at the end of the year, I have this really great video to say, so I stopped using this and this and this and this and this. And I'm only using this. <laughs> I'm always going to have multiple notebooks in my life. Cool with that. 
but we'll see. I, I'd like to streamline the business end of it and figure that out. I don't know. That's a big thing I need to do. Guys, I hope you found this at least maybe funny. I don't know. It's kind of chaotic in my head as I pile the notebooks back. So I hope you liked it. Um, click the little thumbs up if you did. Click subscribe. I appreciate the support. And until next time.